Hello, welcome to the Spoon Fork Heart Kitchen. สวัสดีค่ะ My name is Siri. Today I going to show you how to make a Thai chili and garlic dipping sauce. Guys like the Thai spicy dipping sauce. It have a garlic, chili, cilantro, and but today I going to show you to make one sauce. But you can to be turned to a different, all different flavor. First, I going to start with a classic uh, Thai and chili dipping sauce. I gonna use the blender today because in a lot of liquid going in the here in the recipe. Okay, so first I going to add the one fourth cup. The water to help uh, everything in brand is easier, smoothy, sm sm smoother. Okay, and then I gonna add a half cup of lime. Okay, and this is liquid going, and I going to add the one and a half tablespoon salt, sea salt. Okay, I gonna the classic one for the salt in it. I not gonna use the fish sauce because. Sometimes this is not really, really famous in Thailand to dip in the seafood. So if you add the fish sauce, sometimes it might be too fishy for you. But like I'm saying, this sauce can turn to be a lot of your favorite. So you can add the fish sauce in the future if you need it to. Okay. So okay. Now I go out a little bit, but okay. So next, I'm going to add the sugar. I use two out palm sugar. Okay, for the palm sugar, um, you can use white sugar if you want, but you might have to cut it down about uh, cutting down a little bit because the white sugar it have a more sweeter than the palm sugar. Okay, so I have water, lime, salt, and sugar going in. Next, I'm going to add a two tablespoon chopped cilantro stem. Of course, every time I always tell you guys in Thailand we use the cilantro root. Cilantro root and cilantro stem it have very really strong herby flavor, um, stronger than the leaf. But uh, sometimes over here don't like to use the stem because maybe hard to chew or tough to chew. You guys only use the leaf, but in Thailand we use the whole thing, <laughs> the top to bottom. We use the whole thing. Okay, next a garlic. I will use uh, ten cold but garlic. Okay, and next Thai chili. I will use 10 Thai chili. Really, really spicy. So you have to be careful about the spicy. If you cannot handle with the spicy, you just cut it down the chili. One, two, three, four. It's, it's all up to you. You can control the uh, spicy. Of course, in Thailand, they put more than 10. They put like a lot. They put like a cup or 20, 30 of them. Okay, and now I'm going to blend everything. Okay. Okay. Okay, and now I blend everything already. I just gonna give them a taste because sometimes the chili might be uh, more spicy than the. Sometimes when you buy the chili, sometimes it's spicier than the last time, or sometimes the chili not very spicy. So I just gonna give them a taste first. I might need to add some more um, lime, more sugar, or more salt. Okay, just depends. So I just gonna give them the a little bit the taste. Mm. I think mm, very spicy, very spicy. So I just going to add a little bit more sugar and a little bit more lamb. Okay. So I gonna balance the uh, bring it down the uh, uh, spicy a little bit down. So I going to add a uh, two and a uh, two more tablespoon lamb juice and then the one more out the palm sugar. So sometimes you just have to taste and find the your favorite profile <laughs> because sometimes the chili i think is the chili not gonna be spicy but they're super spicy sometimes i think the chili gonna be spicy but they're not very spicy yes baby mommy working let mommy do this a little bit okay yeah mommy will pair with you okay and then i gonna blend them again so the sugar is dissolved okay and now i'm done um Branding all the sugar again. So now they all this off. I'm gonna remove this banner. Okay, and we almost done for the classic the dipping sauce. Hmm. As you can see, sometimes when you see in Thailand, 
you can see all red, super red, super green. They put a lot of chili. They put a lot of chili, a lot of spicy. Okay, I'm gonna give them the taste one more time. Mm. Much better. Better. They bring the heat down a little bit with the sugar. So, okay, my last step for the my classic uh, chili and garlic. I'm gonna add a uh, lamb set. to it this is a uh, it's just my personal sometimes um, in Thailand that's it you can just done you can just done at that point but for me I like to add the lamb says because they add a lot more favorite and they smell really really good and you use the lamb anyway and then um, why you gonna throw away you know the lamb says they make your food and the favorite a lot a lot better so i only like to add um, a little bit the lamb says um i use one small lamb says and now i done with my classic the thai chili and garlic dipping sauce so i'm gonna put this in the bowl and we're gonna come back and taste it together okay i'm gonna pour this in the bowl i make extra because i already tell you from the beginning i want to show you with different favorite profile so you can pick your own favorite dipping sauce too okay so but this one the classic one this one the classic one so i'm going to try with the seafood the ice steaming the seafood with the all the lemongrass uh, kaffir lamb leaves some thai basil um but today at least the for the sauce so i didn't show you what i'm doing for the seafood okay i'm just gonna Grab the pieces of shrimp that I steam with all the herb and give them a dip because this one no fish sauce so it's good for the seafood. Mm. Hold on. I need one more piece of shrimp. <laughs> mm. Actually all the favorite of the spicy they bring they all bring it down when you eat together with the seafood. Mm. Okay, so this classic one, it tastes really, really good with the seafood. I really like them. But I already promised you from the beginning, you can turn this classic dipping sauce to be the your own favorite or another level of all different favorite profile by just using different herb. So first one, I have the basil. I have a Thai basil from my backyard. And this basil, it will go good with the seafood dipping sauce also. You just pick the leaf, the basil, depend how much that you made the sauce. But this one, I'm just going to show you for this example, what I use for change my favorite profile for the, the sauce to become, sometimes you're dipping with different things, different food, so you want um, seafood, you want, so you want the garlic chili sauce, but you want a different favorite sauce. So I have the fair Thai basil. I'm gonna grab them about 10 leaves. 10 leaves of Thai basil. And um, normal, you can just blend. If you're gonna make this recipe with the basil, you can just blend them together with the original sauce, right? But today I want to show you all the things. So I'm just gonna um, smack them inside the puzzle and small puzzle and motor. Okay, I'm just gonna smack the basil leaf. Okay, get all the favorite uh, from the herb coming out. Okay, because normal, you just can put inside the blender with the sauce, okay? But today I cannot do that because I want to show you different way and taste with you which one is good with. Okay, so now I'm done powering the basil uh, here. Okay, I smell them really good. Okay, I'm gonna remove to the put in the little bowl and add that sauce and I'm going to mix them together and to show you what it's gonna look like okay they will just uh, make more color color gonna be more green because you add the uh, basil but also they will change the really really good favorite profile too look at this look at how this bite nice and green okay all right and then you just give them a taste it's up to you. If you want to add more salt, it's all, it's all up to you. That's why today I want to show you. 
Okay, so this bright green basil adding to it is look really really good. So I'm gonna try with the seafood again. Okay, I'm gonna try with the muscle dip into it. Mm. Really good with the basil too. Mm hmm. Hmm. Really good with the basil too. So it's something easy, simple to add on to your salt, but make make your salt coming to be your favorite. Like I already saying again and again. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the mint. With the mint, okay. Next, I'm gonna do with the mint. I'm gonna have to clean my paso and motor to remove the basil, and I'm gonna do with the mint. Okay, so now the mint is done, but the mint not quite the green like the basil because the like now is the summertime. My mint, my mint getting like sunburn. So okay, but anyway, I'm going to oh. I have to use the small spoon actually, I forget. Okay, so now I'm going to remove the mint to the bowl and add the salt. It's just tap, it's just doing the same thing, the same process. Just add on different herb to make your uh, different prof uh, favorite profile. Okay, so now the mint is done. The um, the base is more bright green, but it's really, really similar looking. Okay, um, I can give it a taste again <laughs> with the seafood. This time I'm gonna taste with the, I have the big pieces of squid. Oh my goodness, it might be too big for me, but yep, I'm gonna dip the squid inside the mint, the mint chili garlic dipping sauce. I know it's not gonna look nice, but, <laughs> but I'm gonna have to try it. Mm. So the squid, chewy, mm. cut, so cut, cut. It's so good, but the squid is cut like a little bit too big, and they cut a little bit chewy, so <laughs> it's hard for me to chew and swallow. Okay, the cassock already done, and the basil already done, and then the mint already done. And next, I'm going to uh, put the some extra cilantro leaf. You know, I we already have cilantro stem from the beginning, if you remember. But some people love cilantro, uh, a favorite, and they always like to make the salt with the, a lot of cilantro leaf. So this one, and also they make your salt go really bright green, same the basil one too. But some people might not like the basil leaf, so you might like cilantro leaf more. So I'm gonna do the cilantro leaf too. Okay, cilantro that cilantro leaf done. For cilantro leaf, sometimes you don't have to um, smack them too much or sometimes you just can chop them real small and add on top. That will make a lot of different favorite profile to your sauce too. Okay, so but today I already show you this way so that's why I use all the pesto and mortar. Okay, so I put the cilantro. I just put the cilantro and then I just going to Add the sauce, same thing, about three table, three or four tablespoon, it's all up to you. Okay, and give them the mix. Now you have the cilantro favorite one. Oh, this one I'm going to taste with a beef. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm gonna taste this one with the beef. Okay, I have the uh, steak here that I just cooking with the salt and pepper, just uh, simple. Nice and simple, and then you can see the outer shade on chocolate leaf. Hmm. Wow. Let me to taste it. I know it's not nice again. <laughs> mm. So good. Okay, the next one you will change your favorite profile with the pineapple. I use fresh pineapple and then I um, just blend them, okay, and they're nice and thick like this. Or you can use apple juice, I mean pineapple juice, okay. I'm just gonna add about two spoon 
and let's add some salt into it and let's taste it what it's gonna taste like and also you can um if you find out when you mix with the herb or mix with the pineapple and if the favorite profile the salt in it you lost some salt in it you can add some more salt into it too but so far when i add everything they look good but i think for the pineapple you you might have to add a little bit of salt because they you add more liquid into the sauce so you might lose some salt in it so you might have to add a little bit more salt let me taste mm. i don't need any more salt mm. they're good it's it's good surprise me too with the pineapple actually it's it makes it a lot better. I want to try with the seafood again with the pineapple one. We get the trim. I get two different things. I get trim and muscle. They, mm, they good. I like this pineapple one actually a lot for the seafood. I think. Let me taste them. Mm. Mm. You have to try this one. You have to try the pineapple one. It's really, really good. Okay, the last one I'm going to show you is, of course, you think, why today I'm missing the fish sauce? I never going to miss a fish sauce, so. But the last one I'm going to show you is a fish sauce. So, of course, this dressing, every time you see me, sometimes I use for the salad dressing also. I use for yam bun sen, or I use for the noodle salad or seafood salad. Um, this classic one, it can be salad dressing too. All you have to do, just add the fish sauce <laughs> to make the more umami flavor. It will good when you dip with the beef or chicken or barbecue or whatever the you like to dip it for. They always good for. If you add another tablespoon the fish sauce, you might have to add a little bit more lime into it or sugar, but. Just give him a taste first. You might already happy with the whatever the favorite profile. I'm gonna add just about the. This is a little bit of salt, so I'm just gonna add the half tablespoon. Okay, into it, and I'm gonna give them the mix. Okay, and this one I'm gonna taste them with the beef. Okay. So many things over here, I know. It looks kind of like messy, but <laughs> but it is what it is. <laughs> I'm gonna add, I'm gonna taste it with the beef. Dip in beef, dip the whole beef into it. Okay, let me taste, taste. Uh. Mm. It's always sour, always sweet. Okay, today I show you six different uh, favorite profile for the uh, chili, Thai chili and garlic dipping sauce. Um, one with the classic one, I just add the lamb set for the extra favorite and two with the basil and three with the mint and four with the cilantro and then the five with the pineapple, the pineapple and the six, the classic one again but with the um, fish sauce okay but you know you can add more stuff into your sauce i i have a lot more idea please try them out and let me know which one is your favorite and don't forget the lemongrass the lemongrass that i didn't show you today it's really really good with this recipe too which one was your favorite um my favorite i like them all to be honest i like them all depend what you're dipping with but I think I like the basil and the pineapple a lot. I mean, I like the mint one too. The classic one and the cilantro one, they all like, they all classic. They all like the favorite that I already usually eat all the time. But the mint and the pineapple, I not do that a lot. So I really, really like them and they really surprise good. So, okay, so might look a little bit a lot of things going on, look a little bit confused, but I put all the recipe for you uh, on the link below. I hope you like this video. I hope you like this recipe. If you like, please give me a thumb up, subscribe, and you will see me for the next recipe. Thank you. Thank you.